Good evening, YouTube Pipe community, New Age Pipe Smokers. This is Chris with New Age Pipe Smokers. And I am doing yet another How Bad Can It Be video. Um, the, this one, uh, Ryan McCauley sent me this one too. These all are going to be from Ryan McCauley. He sent me quite a few. Um, I chose this one today because of how it's kind of funny that a lot of the bad reviews are very similar. Um, because people think it's something else. And it's not at all tobacco galleria nightcap this is a Sutliff blend and what if you're searching online if you look up this blend you will inevitably find bad reviews of people who thought that they were getting dunhill or peterson nightcap this is a black cavendish and golden cavendish blend pretty pretty wide ribbons there um, it says blackberry and alcohol, blackberry brandy, I guess. Some people say they get raspberries from it. Um, it's not actually horribly sticky. It does smell very, very, very fruity. Like cordial fruit. Um, so it's just kind of funny, you know? It's a, it's a purple pouch. It looks nothing like Dunhill. It doesn't say match. And I haven't held a pouch, but I'm pretty sure that it has a description of what flavors it is on it. Um, you'll see this. Like the tobacco stores, roll your own stores. This is... I always equate blends like Tobacco Galleria and Smoker's Pride to like the... Um, you know when you go into a dive bar and you ask for a a um, uh, an import and it's always Labatt Blue, Corona, and Heineken. Like those are your imports at dive bars. Um, it's kind of like that. These are your these are your pipe tobacco blends that are available um, when you go to say uh, a roll your own store. You know the kind that have more glass and vape stuff than they do tobacco. Uh, but. I know there's a lot of positive reviews on this, a lot of negative reviews. I'd say a third of those negative reviews are people saying, um, this ain't nightcap. This is some fruity aromatic. There's no Latakia in this at all. I can already tell. I'm not even going to pack a full pipe. It is okay. It's it's pretty sticky. There's a little bit of um, there's a little tang to it, sort of like a fermented tobacco kind of smell. I'm guessing that's the Black Cavendish. Uh, it's Sutliff. Uh, they have lots of different Black Cavendish, so it's it's hard to tell. I can't tell you whether it's one of their better ones or not. But it's a Sutliff sub-brand, if that tells you anything. Got my old boy. Got my Rattray's tamper. Ladies and gentlemen, New Age Pipe Smokers, YouTube Pipe Community. How bad can it be? fairly fruity you know if they can balance their propylene glycol with their flavors uh, aromatics can actually be pretty good um, there's got to be if it's too much chemical taste you don't taste the the flavor if it's too much flavor it's pretty awful Seems like a lot of the makers of um, popular aromatics focus solely on the tin note and room note. Not a 
lot of fruit. Yeah, I'm detecting faint hints of the topping. But they're kind of overpowered by the humectant. This tastes like it probably would have been better as just a straight Cavendish blend. It's pretty one-dimensional. It doesn't really, it doesn't taste like it smells at all. It doesn't really, room note, I can't, I'm not really detecting a whole lot. Happy Cop Tuesday, by the way. I mean, it's smooth, it doesn't bite. I know there's definitely, um, definitely a, a, a fan base out there that enjoys this particular type of smoke. They don't want complex, nuanced things. They want light, smooth, creamy. Something they can smoke around other people. If you smoke something like pirate cake around other people, you get uh, you get kicked out of the room. It's happened to me. Band practice, I lit up a pipe of uh, pirate cake, and everyone was like, "Oh God, what is that's the worst thing I ever smelled." Ugh. you're not allowed to smoke that in the studio anymore. It's not unpleasant. I think there's just enough of the um, fruit flavor here to maybe balance out the humectant. I don't hate it. But this is just, this is another in a long line of sticky, fruity, Cavendish based aromatics. Um, I haven't tried them all. I've been, I've had quite a few recently and uh, This one doesn't really stand out. Although now the blackberry's actually overtaking the PG. Stays lit really well. Lots of thick clouds. I know uh, I've, I've noticed a lot of a lot of comments on, on certain blends lately talking about the clouds. I don't really focus on any of that, but this one has it. I right, watch. I mean, that's, that's pretty, pretty thick smoke.
Not bad. Oof. This is what's going to make me dump it out right here. Um, boy, that's... That is... Very damp. My goodness. And this thing was clean. I cleaned it out. So that's pretty goopy. If I uh, if I have to drink this one more time, I'm dumping it. That's the one thing I can't stand about. Goopy aromatics is, I, I don't care how well your pipe smokes and how it never gurgles. You smoke the right aromatic out of it, any good pipe will gurgle. Even the best pipes just can't overcome the, the amount of moisture being produced in the airway. I mean, even the, the smoke as I'm puffing on it just feels. I can feel the humidity in my mouth coming out of the bowl. It actually makes for a pretty unpleasant, pretty unpleasant smoke to be honest with you. Yeah. All right. So this is one of those ones as the moisture and I'm, I'm puffing kind of hard. I guess I could mitigate this if I wanted, but, um, as the moisture is increasing in the bottom of this pipe, um, and gathering in the airway, um, this is actually becoming a pretty unpleasant smoke. It just tastes like you know. I mean, we've all we've all tasted what the uh, what the, what happens with that moisture. You know, when you taste, it's just the worst tasting thing ever. Well, that's starting to translate into the flavor of the smoke itself, and that's just the problem with goopy aromatics, man. Um, I don't think I was pushing it that hard, but. I don't like a tobacco that I have to carefully, slowly, gently nurse puff after puff. You know, there's just some blends you get them going and you puff and puff and it's thoroughly enjoyable. It doesn't fight you. Um, ah. Ah. Shit. Yeah, that stuff's, um, that's super goopy. Yeah, it falls in that category. We, I mean, goopy aromatics, man. Very, very, very broad category, and there are tons of blend. That's a shame, you know. With some of these, some of these aromatics, you open them and you smell it. Man, it smells like candy. That smells so good. And then you you smoke it, and it gets wet, and it just tastes like acrid, hot air. Like the, um, whatever chemical processes happen within the propylene glycol, and the, all the flavorings, and the, you know, the natural moisture from the tobacco, too, and, and the, the byproducts of all that become this orange sap this orange, uh, just amalgamation of gross. Uh, 
yeah, people love them or hate them. Uh, this is gross. This is, uh, I'm throwing this one away. Sorry, Ryan. Thanks for sending it. This is for science, I guess. But anyway, um, yeah, Tobacco Galleria. He's, he sent me a couple other ones. I'll probably do those next to get through them. Uh, but yeah, Tobacco Galleria. How bad can it be? Um, boy, it could be a lot more enjoyable if it if it weren't so sticky and wet. Um, and based on just the stickiness, I can already tell you that that's humectant and that's, that's not going to dry out. Um, and if you do dry it out, you're, it's, you're probably going to lose all of that, all that topping. It's, which sucks, man. And actually for, for a little bit there, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Once the, once the, the toppings overtook the, the propylene glycol in the, you know, while I was smoking it, it, it was enjoyable for a second. And then, then the moisture hit. Yeah, I, I don't recommend. Unless you're one of those patient smokers and you like a nice fruity, um, smooth, easygoing um, Cavendish blends. Yeah, give it a whirl. It's cheap. I see it everywhere. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching my video. Rambled on long enough. And uh, catch you on the next one. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. And girls.